Excellent. We may begin the podcast. Finally, after years of waiting, Frogger has finally stopped stalling and we can continue the recording of episode 15 of the Fish Tank podcast. Welcome back, everybody. Today, our guest is Frogger. Excellent day we have today. Welcome to the podcast, Frogger. And hello, Tubold and Louie. How are you guys? I'm doing good. Hello. Hey, I'm Frogger. I had a rough stomach day today. I have to say, yes, I am <laughs> truly excited. Frogger, what did you... I I think I heard you wrong. Did you say you're using a toilet stand or a toilet paper roll to use a microphone stand with? No, I used to because I used to not have a thing to hold up my mic. So I just put it in toilet paper. Like, you know, the, the what is the thing in the middle the of the filter? toilet roll? No, like... The toilet paper the, roll, the little roll. Like the little roll yeah, the roll. Thing. Oh, you oh, use God. that to hold your microphone up? Yeah, it's pretty good. It's Yo, cheap. Yo, started what from the bottom, now have? we're here. <laughs> What did, I'm trying to imagine how this worked. What microphone did you have? Like a, a Yeti? Yeah, Yeti. Still have a Yeti. <laughs> Still. Interesting. Louie, did you notice immediately when Frogger talked? Did you zero in on that? That it was a Yeti? Yeah. No? Because I heard the second Frogger talked, and I'm like, that's a good quality microphone that guy has. He doesn't need to upgrade at he all. He just admitted that to. he has a shit microphone. No, he just admitted that it's <laughs> he in literally a shitty just holder. Said... He just said it's in a shitty holder. <laughs> the difference. Okay. Me and Louie have this back and forth because he's a sound engineer and he's like, oh, trust me, having a better mic, like, is infinitely better. I'm like, Louie, it's You think Taylor Swift ridiculous. goes into the fucking studio with a Yeti? I think she uses a USB mic. Yeah. If money was an issue, I think she would. That's all I'm saying. But it's obviously not, so she can get all the peripherals and make it sound fancy and then upcharge her CD sales. That's all I'm saying. It's all a capitalist game and you're a part of it. Frogger, what's your favorite Taylor Swift song? Um, Party in the USA. Okay, we're gonna have to do a major edit on that. That's not even a Taylor Swift song. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I'm pretty sure. Um, what's the one she did with uh, Brandon Yuri? I like the one that she made about uh, John Mayer. This is the one I'm feeling 22. When I turned 22, that's the first song I played at like midnight in my dorm oh, room. And an, an RA had to come up and be like, hey, can you turn that off? I'm like, bitch, I'm 22. <laughs> I'm 22. <laughs> yeah, Did I hear the music? <laughs> yeah, everybody blasted that song on their birthday. It's, uh, it's rare to find someone who was able to get through the whole thing without somebody complaining. <laughs> yeah, I mean, what do you? What else are you gonna do but blow out your speakers? I bet Frogger did that, hundred percent. Frogger, yeah. I'm glad that you were able to raise your budget. So one thing that I'm confused about. So you're big in the YouTube scene. Uh, actually, one of the bigger Overwatch people who's active in the YouTube scene. Yeah, more than others. I feel like a lot of people in the Overwatch community are very Twitch based. Um, but besides that, you don't only do memes and stuff like that. You're active in the competitive uh, world of Overwatch. So. Can we start from the beginning there? How did you get into that? And then where is that oh. at now? Because I remember you just said you were uh, fighting in a tournament recently. Do you, do you want like the full on start of how I got I want I got the into, like... birth of Frogger and why exactly. he is the man that he is today. Okay, and then we'll get so... into some hard hitting questions. Yeah. Se season one Overwatch, Temple of Anubis, right? This map is a special place for me, even though it's a 2CP map, right? Ugh. I met this you guy weren't mentally scarred. Finn the human, that's right, from the actual cartoon, no, but um, he was just, he was a New Zealand guy, and he was very, um, he was a tank player, and I remember he was really odd, everyone thought he was weird, because he was calling D.Va Baby D.Va, and everyone thought that was the most weirdest thing ever, but, you know, here we are today calling her that, whenever she's out of mech and all that. And Wait, he was I the first person I, to do that? I don't know, he was just, everyone was like, what the hell's wrong with this guy, why is he calling her a baby, she's like 19 or so, shit. <laughs> Um, yeah, and I just, I feel like, uh, he just pointed out that I played really good in that game, and most of the time, I didn't actually play Lucio because I wanted to, uh, I ever, no one ever just played support in season when everyone wanted to play Genji, because everyone was, like, ledge dashing, and plus, there was no hero locks, right? Yeah, I think there was no hero mm. locks at all, so everyone mm -hmm. kind of just played whatever they wanted, and it was pretty fun. Um, Temple of Anubis was actually one of the worst maps in season one, because everyone would just swap to six divas when Not it was, much uh, stall time. Yeah, yep. so not true, <laughs> not much. Um, and after that, he was like, "Oh wow, Frogger, you're really good, mate. We should bloody group up sometime." And I was like, uh, "Okay." And he's then later he asked me, he's like, "Do you have Discord?" I'm like, "What the fuck is that?" And he's like, "You want to join a team?" And I'm like, "Okay." <laughs> I, I, does that mean like group up and play competitive? He pulls me into a custom lobby, and he's like, "All right, you know what scrimming is, right?" I'm like, "Huh? What's going on? What what is this?" And uh, you know, go in. And it was a Nepal game. I actually have the clip. It's so old and ancient. 
um, and someone singing the "Do you believe in love?" like as I'm getting like a, like a free man boop or something, and watching my gameplay back. I don't jump at all. Like, it's so terrible to watch. Like, I'm Wait, just like, like Lucio, a, get, you were just, like, on the floor? Yeah, I'm just, like, an NPC walking around half the time. And like, trailer just, like, Lucio. Yeah, and, like, did, did I think I was good at the game? <laughs> Dude, but, season one was a wild wasteland of undiscovered potential. People didn't know yeah. to do anything. All that there was was, Gen, was Genji flying halfway across the map. People would be like, well, we can't stop him. He's got four different jumps. Look at him. <laughs> <laughs> I was actually on yeah. a I was actually on a competitive team very briefly uh, in season one of Overwatch as well. I remember we had a game on Ilios and it was on Runes and I didn't really know what my main was at the time. But Bumbler put me in as I I don't know if I was fully on the team or if I was just subbing, but I know for a fact that I played one game. And what happened is that I was getting roasted because there was this tracer that was absolutely destroying us on the enemy team. And I was on DPS and everybody was being like, fish, kill the tracer. And I couldn't do it. She was so much better than me. <laughs> and then I remember it was Cal. I'll call him out. He, he switches to, uh, to Cole Cassidy. And then, or is it? Yeah, it's Cole Cassidy. And then he, and then he uh, flashbangs and one shots the tracer. And I just remember he immediately goes like, see, I killed her in one shot. And I'm just like, wow, thanks. This is a great start to a competitive team. And the reason that I joined that was because I wanted to relive that thrill of Team Fortress 2 uh, competitive. And then after that day, I was just like, yeah, no, I think my days in competitive are over. And I, uh, I stopped playing. <laughs> Gone so soon. Never, yeah, yeah. It, that was the beginning and the end of that. But um, Frogger, I thought, you, I thought you had experience with the competitive aspect of video games before that. You know, you apparently you didn't yeah. know what the word scrimming meant. Because you said you played TF2, well, like, right? Yeah, I did play TF2. But, like, I, I, you know, I had a high school friend that was like, yeah, man, I got scrims to go to. And I was like, what the hell is a scrim? Is that like a drink or something like that? <laughs> I legitimately thought it was some sort of like drinking thing or something. Um, yeah, but anyways, he played for ages and I don't think he ever ended up at a tournament and he was just trolling me or some, something like that. Uh, the most competitive experience I had was uh, Call of Duty Black Ops 3 or something. But that was to the point where it was like just sweaty lobbies, I guess, at some point. But that's it. People hated me on that game because I ran around with two pistols. Uh, and that's why I was like, oh, Trace is going to be my main in Overwatch 2. <laughs> yeah, no. Uh, I, I later learned that I can't aim, so not doing that. Ooh. Yeah, the double Glock, is that what it was? The extendo mags just sprinting at people? Yeah, yeah, pretty much. Was. Do you just remember vomit in, bullets into people. What was it? Uh, it must have been Modern Warfare 2 um, that when you were holding a care package... You would run like two times faster, and then if you had commando knife, you could just like stab people from across the map. That was the best fucking game. Yes. Modern Warfare Two is the best gaming experience I've ever had. I think like, it's the best uh, Call of Duty. <laughs> My friend and I used to abuse that care package glitch all the time with uh, knifing only. It'd be the two yeah. of us running around just knives, and we would get all the care package like perks. And we would, at like halfway through the map, we would just call down every single one of them at once, and the entire sky would just be filled with boxes and just planes flying everywhere. And you couldn't see anything on the mini map because it's just care packages everywhere. Just no one knew who was going to get what. It was a mad dash everywhere. Just a million different kill streaks going off at once. It was awesome. That game was so broken. <laughs> I love that game so much. It was such a good game. Yeah. I think the funniest thing about that was always just how bad the voice chat was, but in a good way. And I wish, I wish like games just had terrible voice chat all the time. Like they never worked on a good voice chat system. Well, Apex, Apex kind of had that for a little bit. I, yeah. I mean, no, I but Apex is isn't kinda bad. Apex isn't funny bad. Like for example, you it have Half Life and bad, Team Fortress. <laughs> really? I well, when like, I think of Apex voice chat, I think of just so quiet you can't hear him, but it's high quality. When I think of Half Life, like I think of webcam mic. I don't know. I yeah, didn't. In I the like, early oh, days of Apex, oh, wow. it was like it was like, uh, uh, dude, he's on your left. Where is he? I can't see him. Like, <laughs> <laughs> it's really bad. I just always associate that with Half Life and Team Fortress. You know the memes that have spawned from them, like door stuck, door stuck. Please, I beg you. Like the quality of that definitely made that clip so much better. <laughs> I just think that you can't get anything like uh, Call of Duty mics ever again because back then you have the hot mics, right? For like the whole yeah, lobby, yeah, just yeah. just a there's whole, no just push two, to talk. 
Yeah, just a whole bunch of people <laughs> come right into the lobby. Some person's a got chat. a fan going off. Another person's eating chips. Someone's getting Moms. yelled at by their parents. Yeah. And then you just have people yelling at each other. Then you get into the game. You kill one of them. And then they just call you slurs the whole time. <laughs> and that can't happen anymore. It's, we've moved and past that And then that lobby stays for the next game, too. So yeah, it's like you're just playing multiple going, games And then people the call lobby. you a bitch. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, and that... Okay, so I... I Going back to a question about Frogger, for people that don't know, Frogger is uh, from Australia. And Questron, who is a European Overwatch player, he said something kind of interesting to me uh, kind of recently, which is that Europeans, what they do is that um, they don't try to have fun, and then indirectly they end up having fun. Versus Americans, they try to have fun to have fun. And when you have that dynamic mix, a.k.a. American, an American in a European lobby, the Europeans will get annoyed by the Americans because they're like, what are you trying to do? You're trying so hard to go out of your way. So what is the dynamic of that in Australian gaming? Because even Australian servers on their own, I'm kind of confused about which server you even use to play video games, first O-C- of all. O- o- OSC or something like that? Or OCE. OSC. OCE, yeah, yeah. Yeah. Oh, man. I'm, look, I'm not even going to lie. That was the most overloaded question you've given me. Which is like, there yeah, are two well, parts to it. Fun. One, There's, okay. This guy's having fun. This guy's having, like, fun. I want to know what the dynamic fun. of Australian gaming is like. Uh, from, from my experience, uh, we actually revived, like, the Australian Overwatch servers. Like, you know, 4K lobbies are always super dead. Like, even Masters, Diamond's still pretty dead, oh, wow. too. Uh, we, yeah. Uh, my friend Bus hosted a tournament. Basically, whoever gets the most wins in like from 7 p.m. to 10 p.m. gets like a, like 200 bucks or something like that, right? It's super fun. It's a good idea for a tournament. Uh, one guy just straight up decided uh, to ruin all the fun um, by queuing on 12 different Overwatch accounts at once. He booted it all up on one computer and ran it down mid, saying do every that? slur in the book in new ones. I guess new ones just drop like a like patch notes or something, patch but. Notes um, <laughs> And he ran it down and pretty much ruined the entire night. And it's just, oh, it's terrible. Like, but he was going, like, he had just, like, 12 windows of Overwatch open. And he was just going back and forth, just, like, running off the map on each one. And it's like he's playing some sort of mini game where he can't get kicked for AFK. <laughs> Oh my god. Oh. He's just swapping between each one, like, moving yeah, one but character, then moving the next. Fun in OC is really, um, it's all over the place. Like, some people will mess around, some people won't mess around. It's, like, at the same time, but, uh, OC players won't hold back on, like, uh, calling you out if you're playing something unfun. Like, I remember every time I queued a game and someone on the enemy team was playing Brig or Widow, they'd just be like, Oi, dickhead, swap off! And it's like, you know... <laughs> but, like, you know, the enemy team's telling you to swap more than, like, their own team, which is, like, so good. It's like, someone gets one shot at the start of the game and, like, oh, you're a freaking degenerate. And it's, like, absolute so much hate going in the lobby, literally, between the two Widow players. <laughs> Is there any like, uh, is there any like uh, inter-Australian conflicts between like uh, what, are, what are places in Australia, Melbourne, and I want to say Sydney, maybe I don't know where where are places in well, Australia that just fight each other. Like you come online, you're just like I know that accent. <laughs> every every kind of like state kind of fights each other to like be the best. I think at the end of the day, most people just don't like Queensland, which is up top, like places like Northern that. Territory which is in the middle of Australia, there's nothing going on there. If you meet someone from the Northern <laughs> Territory, it's literally like finding something rare in real life. Like you found <laughs> someone in the Northern Territory. Like, like how did that guy get internet up there, let alone make it into my game? Like he's made it to my rank. <laughs> Are uh, they like the, the hicks of Australia? What the hell is a hick? <laughs> yeah, okay, so it's, like, it's like... Uh, Super... A redneck, maybe? Do you know what a yeah, redneck, redneck is? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, we call yeah. them bogans. bogans. Bogans? Yeah. So oh, they're, they're the people that, that, like, sit outside in a wife beater with, like, a whole stack of, like, uh, I don't know what Australian... Sh- really yeah, shitty, just... cheap beer. Uh, oh, Foster's. <laughs> Foster's. <Yeah. laughs> it's Australian for beer. Yeah. God. Yeah, no, they're everywhere, though. They're not just in one state. Like, you know, you go down a anywhere and like you'll find them at the local train station or the local worst local grocery stores all that stuff you find them everywhere you know they kind of they like like i said you know it, they're not hard to find like you get more you know pokemon goes a lot more harder i guess i don't know 
you know. Pokemon um, Go in Australia is actually just like a death trap. You wander into <laughs> Queensland, you just get some bogan coming up to you, like, what are you doing on my land? <laughs> I actually remember, remember when it first came out, and I was playing with a bunch of friends, and there was like a, uh, what is it? They're like gyms or something? I forget what they are. But it was yeah, behind just a fence, and we're just like, um, for legal reasons, this is a joke. Uh, we climbed over the fence that said no trespassing and just went in uh, and sat in there for ages. Um, I do think some police pulled up and started seeing us. Like, some people were watching us, and I think they called the cops on us because we, we were just trespassing into some um, uh, area just to try and farm, like, a Snorlax or a Charizard or something like that. Uh, it didn't end up... We actually got some the good stuff. The police didn't accept didn't that? Yeah. Um, but you know, I've you never caught help. anything good on Pokemon Go, and I played it for at least a week. <laughs> at yeah, least one them. whole week. nearly enough time. <laughs> Pokemon Go is still Pokemon being Go. updated today. It's still Which is shocking to me, to be fair. How many players? I thought that would have died off a long time ago. I don't know, but enough that they still keep it active. More active than other Pokemon games that are out there. See, that was it was crazy how many people flocked to Pokemon Go. Like that was the most unique summer of my are entire you, life. You get to be a Pokemon trainer. That's like I the know, dream. but it's like it, it's you don't even get to fight in it. That's the exactly. thing. Exactly. Well, what everybody was hoping weird. that eventually, yeah. like you get to fight, but them it never and happened, stuff. right? And like you couldn't train the Pokemon; you just had to turn them into candy and then force feed your Pokemon their dead brethren in order to level them up. And then you never got See, to choose their attacks or anything. You just threw <laughs> them into a gym and then you prayed to God that it would survive the night. <laughs> you guys not fight people, or like was that just a Australian thing? No, it, it eventually physically was, you maybe could fight people. Yeah. Eventually, oh, right? Oh, like two years later. Oh, we would just fight people in person. Just <laughs> yeah, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> like punch. So like that guy's playing Pokemon Go. Beat him up. <laughs> <laughs> what can your Pikachu do about this? <laughs> Snorlax, help me! <laughs> there oh, was a wait, bunch of there, guys using. Rest were there any? There. Were there any exclusives um, in Australia? In Pokemon wise, wait, oh I might be. God. Wasn't it? Oh, which Pokemon yeah, was it? Yeah, they had the one oh, Australian the Pokemon. Pokemon. The, yeah, yeah, they had the. No. <laughs> I've never they had heard of Diglett it. because Diglett goes down under. <laughs> <laughs> Get out. Just I thought leave. it was Kangaskhan. <laughs> Have you ever been to Outback Steakhouse? Yeah. Is it kind good. of like a. Is it like a good. It's a good representation? Yeah, I mean it's steak. You know, I don't know what representation you need of steak. Frog, when are you moving to America? America. So, I mean, <laughs> moving, no, I'm never moving to America. But Frogger, yeah, you, you know. literally had to wait. You were up at 4 a.m. last night. Why is your sleep schedule bad? And then you woke up at what is it, 10:30, 11 for this podcast? I know. I was I was setting up some like stuff, and I was like, yeah, this is cool. And then I looked at the time, and I'm like, ah, I'm gonna go outside tomorrow. And then I realized, oh, I got a little podcast as well. Here we go. And then you yeah, also Frogger, messaged me only you? two Hold hours on. ago. Hold on, Frogger, how old are you? I'm 23. 23, okay. okay. Yeah. People so your I'm sleep schedule people. is still, like, within reasonable bounds. Okay, I get you. Yeah. When does it become Sometimes. unreasonable to go to bed at 4 a.m.? Probably when you have real-life responsibilities. I would generally assume that. Oh, okay. That or when you, like, can no longer function on, like, six hours of sleep. I would consider that, this like, podcast a real-life responsibility. <laughs> I mean, <laughs> sure. But if you miss this podcast, you're generally not going to starve, like, if you need to go out and get groceries. Oh, f yeah, Frogger, I, w I don't think that we would have been able to record this podcast if we didn't record today. In terms of, because I'll be free tomorrow and Sunday, but not during the times that you would be awake. Oh, yeah, fair enough. No, I didn't know if you guys were, like, I didn't want to put that cause... pressure on you, so I'm glad that you showed Cause... up. Because it's, like, the holidays here for, like, um, that Easter Easter. Guy. Oh, yeah, Easter. <laughs> Easter man. I didn't when is Easter it again? What day it's, was uh, God, God was... Re he respond? <laughs> God respond. Uh, Today is good Friday. I generally don't actually remember what Easter did, but like he I... responded. <laughs> Jesus Christ responded. That was that was him. <laughs> that was him. Yeah. Okay. What did Easter <laughs> do? All right. He so asked. that's what Easter was. All right. Fair enough. It's been a while. Uh, when, when, what day is it? Day. Is it this Sunday? It's always Easter Sunday, right? Yeah. Yeah. Like, I'm not wrong, right? Okay. Cool. 
Because I'm trying to think of what things I have to do with my family, and I'm like, when is that? I know I know my family likes it when we do stuff on Easter. I don't remember <laughs> when that is, though. I have to go get candy or something for the kids and like hide them in like eggs or whatever. Do you do that the in kids? Australia? Do you have the... Yeah, like all the rest of my family. Easter egg hunt. Ba- oh, family. Yeah. I thought you were a father. I was like, what the hell? Um, he is a father. Oh, God, he just no. doesn't know oh, it. Jesus, no. uh, uh, yeah, we, we do eggs. We just eat raw eggs sometimes. Raw sometimes eggs? Do, have you ever done a beer egg, Frogger? No. What? I haven't, I haven't had alcohol in ages. Oh, okay. So you don't regularly do shoeys? What the hell? Yeah. Are you actually Australian? Australian? What's the deal? Do you drink no, water out of a shoe? Did, last time I did a shoey was at 18, which is legal here. Um, we're allowed to just drink at 18. It's, it's sick. Probably not a good idea, though. <laughs> I had a sub goal to do a shoey. Um, so if people subs- subscribe to me, yeah, when I reached that, I would have been able to do it. But nobody seemed to be interested. And half the time, they're just like, what is a shoey? <laughs> I don't have many, much of an Australian audience. Shoeys are good. It's like on stage, you know, you have a crowd. It's always good, but it's like... Oh, yeah, I wouldn't know. expect anyone to do it in the corners of their homes, just alone. <laughs> just some <laughs> in the corner, just getting a shoe. I need the flavor. A bottle of alcohol in it, just like... Whoa, whoa. It's the only way I drink. Oh, man. <laughs> Might as well use my shoe. All right, well, if you don't shoey, do you butt chug? Oh, I yeah, want to know what that is, man. It's yes, literally it drinking beer up the bro. butt. I don't want. To, why would you tell me that, man? Why it's a, <laughs> it's a big spa- It's a staple in American like. It's kind of culture. like a passing on period. Yeah, it's how you move on to the next stage. Oh, you know, it's actually a super life? funny. What? Here's here's something funny. So apparently, this is something that I read a long time ago. But there was a dude that gave himself um, auto brewery syndrome, which is uh, what happens when you have a bunch of. Um, stuff that ferments in your gut because of butt chugging. He did it so often that he made it so <laughs> he just constantly had fermenting um, whatever beer hops like in his stomach, like constantly fermenting. Like he he caused that to happen. So okay. he was perpetually drunk. Like he was always drunk because it was constantly making alcohol in his body. That's gotta be and that bad was for like, you. It was called auto brewery syndrome. And that sounds fine it, to me. <laughs> yeah, he was incredibly gassy <laughs> because of the bubbles and whatnot. But otherwise, there's no real danger to him, to my knowledge, other than the fact that he is constantly intoxicated. Is he still drunk to this day? Oh, I don't know. Like I said, it's an old story, but it was an insane one to be sure. And I always thought that was probably like the peak of drunken degeneracy. But I don't know the risks involved with causing that to happen to yourself, but it always makes me laugh every time I hear it. <laughs> yeah, Frogger, uh, the thing with butt chugging, since you didn't even know what it was, is that when you intake it through the butt, the alcohol actually hits you a lot harder uh, than yeah. just and normally fast. taking Wait, f- it through the mouth. Yeah, it and faster. It burns up your ass? Yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> what did you think that we meant when we were talking about butt chugging? Yeah, yeah. a shot is like... Super dangerous. Do not, don't butt chug. It's super dangerous. But um, oh my god, you know, but butt you know chug. What? Come on, oh, god, <laughs> I witnessed terrible. it. You know what? On the topic of alcohol, when I when I went to America for BlizzCon, like that was 2019, I think. I'm telling you, the alcohol there does not hit as hard as Australian. I'm not. I'm not trying to start a war, but like Classic. the alcohol. What there did you was, hit, What did you drink? I had tequila. Oh, so did you go to a bar? Yeah, we went to a bar. Yeah, that's why it, it doesn't hit hard because we'd like to be stingy. Most bars are like drinks. we're gonna we're gonna water down all of our alcohol so that uh with mixer. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, because we were at a bowling alley and the person it's who's buying drink the person who's buying drinks, this is look, I don't want to start any drama, but I was twenty at the time. <gasps> <This person. laughs> it was crazy. Um yeah, no, uh the well-known Overwatch streamer, well-known sniper player, Kefri, uh, buys everyone drinks. And, and <laughs> uh, he goes up to me, he's like, who's a water man? And I'm like, okay, drink and it. it's tequila. And I was like, oh, tastes like this water. T- <laughs> <laughs> it tastes, tastes like, like water. Fucking... <laughs> I was like, I don't know if it was... you, know, you know those pranks where they go around and they're like, yeah, try this shot. And it's like, it's just water. And they act all drunk after. I'm like... It's fucking water. I'm like, oh, fucking, like, am I getting, I don't, like, I don't know if I was getting trolled because they looked legitimately serious when I drank it. And I'm like, yeah, good job, guys. You're all criminals for just giving, you know, 
alcohol to a 20 year old <laughs> and did they actually give you tequila or was it water it was tequila because <laughs> it was like it. but it was a because, shot right yeah yeah but like when we do tequila in like clubs in australia they don't hold back you know what i mean like you go up to the counter they're like here's some salt here's a lime or like lemon or something like that go hard because i don't know how you guys do it but like we do that australia yeah that was made by just, mexicans that's closer oh, to yeah. us yeah, I don't know. I did it wrong the first time, and I accidentally snorted the salt up my nose. And then... <laughs> That's understandable. A lot of the times when people are doing that for the first time, they do everything out of order. There's a hardcore le- uh, tequila shot that oh, we yeah. used to do back in college that instead of uh, licking the salt, put uh, taking the shot, and then doing the lime, you snort the salt, squeeze the lime into your eyes, and then take the shot. <laughs> what the hell? Yeah, I've seen people. I, I was too pussy to ever squeeze the lime into my Dude, eye, but I've witnessed that. That's so that. painful. Salt in your nose? Painful. It's just it's just inconvenient for a few it's minutes. It's so fucking funny. It doesn't it's seem so so bad. But on the bright side, you're not focused on the shot at all. You gotta imagine a bunch of dudes at a bar sitting at a table just... Ah! ah! Banging the table. <laughs> <laughs> just like a group of Jesus. Screaming. The hell's wrong with you? <laughs> we should go to a TGA Fridays and fucking do that. <laughs> what a TGA Fridays? Or we Thank can go to an God, Outback. It's Friday. Let's go to an Outback and fucking do that. That would be funny. Dan Fargo, we're gonna we're gonna FaceTime you and you have to join us while we're doing it. Oh my god. Yeah, it sounds pretty good. Also terrible at the same time. I feel like you guys should just put that on Twitter. That'd be really good. I think just That's absolutely just like no, con- no, con- no context to the tweet at all. Just take out the drinking part and just have you just pouring lime into your eyes, <laughs> screaming in <laughs> agony out of nowhere, and be like Overwatch, you know? <laughs> Overwatch 2 Overwatch would be like. Be like. <laughs> <laughs> Me one soldier, you know? It's just like... <laughs> <laughs> Something completely unrelated. And someone's like, yeah, I relate to that massively. And it's like, no idea what the fuck they're on about. But, hey, it farms the engagements, you know? Frogger, yeah, when I think of... to me like you've mastered Twitter, honestly. Yeah. Yeah, when I think of your Twitter humor, I think of you literally posting a default picture of one of the characters. Like, no skin, no text caption whatsoever, millions of likes. That's what I think of when I think of Frogger on Twitter. Wait! That reminds me! Yeah, why'd you get a new Twitter? Did, did your only get shut down? Oh, I legitimately, like, was... <laughs> it, feels, it feels so uh, sad. It's like, yeah, um, Twitter was fun, uh, and then I also hated Twitter. And I was like, this platform sucks. I'm going to take a year break. And I was like, you know what? Let's delete it. And then I was like, I shouldn't have done that. And then uh, came back. Wait, you deleted later. your account? Yeah, I had like 43k followers. Which is no the worries. App- 43 down the drain. App. Yeah, but you know, that doesn't stop me from going on it on the web, on the internet, on Google Chrome. Blacklist it. Parental blocking. <laughs> you think I'm not going to just constantly get around that? I'm gonna I mean, like, see. did you not even think of, like, the the sponsorship potential of having 43,000 followers on Twitter that you could just post random stuff to? I feel like these are all down? thoughts that you realized after the fact. Like, even if you we think, asked you, you think, something. You think I'm going to, like, have the dignity to do a freaking sponsorship opportunity on Twitter? Bro, I'll be... I'll just money! Get, like, I'll just get shit-talked in the replies. No, <laughs> you make cares? Dude, You'll have I, money! <laughs> I get, nah, but, I mean, you know, it's not the end of the world. I don't really care. I'm just like, yeah, I'll get it back. It's no worries. And, yeah, I just post memes for the fun of it. It's not like it's not like those 40K people are like, damn, this guy is a guy, you know? I, I don't know where I'm going with that, but, you know. Um, <laughs> the guy no, is I, gone. I, no, Twitter's a wasteland. No, but you were like, a, when I saw your new account, first of all, I was, I was surprised. I was like, wait, was I not following Frogger this whole time? I could have sworn he had tens of thousands of followers but then all i saw that you were posting was memes and stuff it wasn't even tech stuff it was just video memes and i figured this yeah. was frogger rebooted frogger 2.0 or whatever yeah, number was, you'd I be was, at at that point I was, I was originally just gonna make it like a parody account and someone i was just gonna pretend i was someone else uh just for the shits and giggles of it so people would be like hey man when's your next stream gonna be what's the next video coming out so i didn't have to respond to any of it but then i was like you know what i'm just gonna like just post memes and then just never really give a take because giving a take on Twitter is like, 
deadly, I feel like. Especially in Overwatch take. I only oh, give I love doing takes. That. No, yeah, I think giving don't takes on I've never given funny. a take. I don't have takes. You want to hear a take? Louis, I don't post on Twitter. And Louis makes me angry when he uses Twitter. Louis pisses Why? me off. That's what he does. Because <laughs> he'll just post a picture of, like, two emojis. And, like, he'll get, like, 200 likes. And I'm like, motherfucker. <laughs> Every time. He just puts a smiley face or an unhappy face. People start liking it. I'm like, what is this? This is... <laughs> This is stupid. <laughs> and Louis just like, see, I did that. And I'm like, yeah, but what is it? What are you doing? <laughs> I've had some banger tweets. <laughs> your, yeah. It's your most your, banger your, your tweet. Fav- my favorite tweet of yours is the Bulbasaur one. <laughs> <laughs> I, I was in a real good place with that one, though, to be fair. <laughs> Come, my little lechugo. Adventure awaits. <laughs> <laughs> so, Frogger. Yeah. What's your deepest, darkest regret? Um, Probably not starting, like, YouTube earlier. Or, like, figuring out how to, like... I don't know. <laughs> Man, like, you no, could have been That's twice like as big. <laughs> That's like a fucking... Uh, uh, no, I, no, you... <laughs> when you no, go to a business... Really... <laughs> when you go to a fucking no, uh, yeah. interview, it's like, what's your, what's your biggest weakness? Oh, I don't know. Probably, you know, not... Uh, being working too, too hard. Uh, what work do you too want me to hard. say? Putting in too much work. <laughs> no, it's more so because it's like when I started taking off on YouTube, it was like when I was 20 and it's like, damn, I could have been like taken off when I was like 17 or like 18. Yeah, I started when like I was that. 14. Yeah, well, good for you. Did oh, you? yeah. So I had a lot um, of, <laughs> I got a lot of years to screw up a bunch of videos and test out the waters before I made it happen. Yeah. No. Nah. It's more so you. it's like, you know, it's like when you, when you like, grow, you're kind of like, why am I growing when this game's dying? What the hell's going on? You know what I mean? You're I the just, last I, bastion of hope. That's why. You're, you're yeah. a funny guy. <laughs> you get the Fun. internal content of being funny in whatever game you're playing. However, it's a two-sided, like, coin, right? Because if you stop mm. being funny, no one watches your videos anymore. So you got to exactly. really stay on the ball. Keep your mind sharp on the razor's yeah. edge of humor. And we're about to get Overwatch 2. <laughs> That's where the money is. That's what I'm, that's what I'm really <laughs> excited for. It. Like I, I do want to push. I do want to push like a lot of like good content out for the game and see what I can do. Like I'm more excited for like PVE because I feel like there's a lot of opportunities for that as well. Like so no one ever. I feel like no. I actually ugh, I don't know. Like Archives that's a hot dog- take. I'm excited for like, PVE. Archives is dog shit. Let's be real. Archives yeah, is but it's going to be different. Like, They're going to be able to yeah, move around and jump different. now. It is going to be different. Yeah. You watch it. There's We're gonna, gonna be gonna like get Junkenstein's uh, revenge, guys. No, we are I'm not. I'm so it's excited so for Junkenstein's revenge you guys watch. in Overwatch too. Oh yeah, no. I mean, like, I don't know. I've played a couple of PVE games in the past, and a lot of them haven't really like got me super like excited to play. The only one I really enjoyed was like uh, <coughs> Heyday Two. I like that PVE in that game. It was like heaps fun. That's so why I'm like hoping, like, dude, Overwatch Two needs to have some sort of like stealth mission or some shit. That'd be so fucking fun. It just would be, you know. Imagine stealth they, in as Ryan Talking Hunt. about stealth <laughs> missions, dude. My my, I don't, I don't know if everybody else has this memory, but that Call of Duty, I think it's Modern Warfare Two stealth mission, where you're crawling underneath no, Modern the Warfare tanks. One. Oh yeah, yeah. my god, dude! In the ghillie suit. What a thrill ride! <laughs> That's such a good mission, man. I didn't know that yeah, the tanks could run you over, but they can. I thought it just doesn't really make much <laughs> sense, but they can run you over even if you're smack in the middle of them. <laughs> I remember saving up for so long to get that game. Yeah. Oh, man. Stealth, stealth missions in games are, like, so good. And it's, like, if I was doesn't do, like, at least one, I'm going to be so upset. Like, there's so much, like, it's, like, you've got a stealth character. A character that goes invisible. And you're not going to do a stealth mission. You know what I mean? She Just goes invisible up. forever. Though. They're not going to do it. I think nah. that I think that what would make that really interesting, and it's probably very realist, unrealistic that this is going to happen, is if they do what Left 4 Dead 2 did, which is they have these special mobs, aka in Left 4 Dead 2 it would be the Charger, the Spitter, the Hunter. They all have different types of abilities that the normal walking zombies don't, aka just scratching at you and running at you. In Overwatch 2, if they have those special mobs that every now and then, uh, you can have this versus game mode, so it's like 4v4. And oh, the, yeah. the robots or the Omnic people or whoever the bad guys are, they can control those special mobs so that they're, uh, there's a PvP aspect in the PvE. I think that Left 4 Dead 2 did that perfectly. That's why I put literally over 700 hours in that game. If Overwatch did that, that would be dope. 
but it's probably not yeah, gonna happen. You, you but even then, I don't consider that blood. PVE really. I think it, that's like that's like uh, how Fortnite has those like those bot like things. It's just kind of like uh, NPCs mixed in with a PVP, you know, arena. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, no, that's a bit different. I mean, like for. For Left for Dead, you have all the things doing the exact same thing to stop like one set of people, whereas you just like it's a versus mode where like the people that are playing zombies are at a disadvantage to make up for that. They send in waves of like normal shitty zombies. Like that's different from Fortnite, where you have a character just randomly in a blimp that just occasionally shoots you, and if you kill him, you get a blue <laughs> shotgun. Whoa, yeah. No, I, like yeah, I remember from playing Left for Dead too. I don't know if Versus was out. Like Left for Dead, you're like whoa. That really ugly zombie looking thing. I want to play as him. And they're like, okay, let's do it then. Versus mode. They made it. It's real. You know? I, I feel like Overwatch could do that thing. I remember yes. ages ago, someone hacked the game and it was to the point where they were able to play as like all the characters from like the archives event, which was so funny. Like someone was running around as the, like, what is that big ass bomb? The big blue the thing. Sentry Buster thing. Yeah. The eggy leggy, if you will. I love yeah, that but in, Over- in Overwatch. Someone was running around in that um, in like a game of Junkertown and they swapped to the assassin character and they were just jumping on walls and everything on Junkertown. Yes, and so basically sw- you could control them. That was, I think that would make PvE. Like obviously there would be a normal PvE, but I think there should also be a game mode where it's PvE, but there's another team of people that are able to control. But then that's whoever, just PvP. Like the that's not PvE. But it's still the <laughs> PvE story, but with people involved. That's how they can make PvE more replayable, I think. Yeah, but people that's... just like. But I also think they need inf- a good story mode. Like they need like Halo, or fucking I don't know. Like that would be so great to have like imagine different sets of missions for every character. It could even be like Sonic Adventure Battle Two, where you would go to a specific place <laughs> and then you can you can play as whatever character, like the new Sonic to get the job so done. Which one? Oh, I don't think it'd be a good fantastic. idea, but it's not going to happen. I don't think Overwatch wants to go. Dude, no. Well, yeah, Listen, yeah, yeah. Amaranth is taking over Blizzard, right? Amaranth invested we, two million. We DM Amaranth every day to let us on the board. No, I thought I we'd, we'd be using her as our messenger. We'd be like, Amaranth, here are your daily tasks for today in order to save Overwatch. <laughs> for the good <laughs> of the people, you are our ambassador. Here are our requests. <laughs> First of all, thinking? make Tracer thicker. I don't know how that's going to help gameplay, but please, for the betterment of the community, get that thickness up. Second, uh, PvE, was... PvP. I'm just saying, it's a, it's a cool idea. But the first one's our first demand. Do it, please. Please. I was thinking, right? Like, honestly, I feel like they're going to do it. You know how you you ever played any of the Telltale games? Or, like, Mass Effect? You know how they always, like, you could choose your, like, dialogue? That's how I feel like the game's going to be. There's going to be, like, some sort of, like, yeah, because I remember, I I swear to God, I don't know if I might have been hallucinating. It might have been likely. Um, (laughs) But I remember they're just, like, yeah, some missions, like, some characters just won't show up, but some other people who experience this show up. It's going to be great. Like, what if you can just kill off characters? Yeah, like in Fire Emblem. Yeah. The Elden, the Elden Ring Overwatch. <laughs> open world Overwatch. Open world. That, <laughs> which is just a battle royale. People just invade your game as well. Like, you know, just imagine, like, you're running around the world and out of nowhere, Lucio just runs out of you. <laughs> just <laughs> you off the cliff. <laughs> And that's it. He leaves the game after that. That's it. That's all he came for. It's you so guys sad. want to know what I'm most excited about? The new characters that are coming to Overwatch 2. I can't wait until they add an Italian with a baseball bat. Tommy Two Bats, he's going to be amazing. His ultimate <laughs> is he takes out the second bat, and he just keeps breaking legs. I'm telling you, you have an enemy Genji, and then you send out Tommy, and he just takes the bat and breaks Genji's legs so he can't jump, and then he just drags him through the street. I think that would be some serious character development like in the game. Because you, you don't have many Hauja? characters that can do that. huh? You heard of Hauja? <laughs> you should answer it. Go ahead, Frogger. Ask him. I think you should answer it. <laughs> Frogger, I'm not an idiot. <laughs> I gotta say, that came out of nowhere, though. I did not expect that we'd try that again. It's been it's been oh. months since I heard an attempt of that. A long time. 
What is the response? How would you let this dick get so <laughs> how'd you far? Get, how'd you get this dick in your mouth? <laughs> <laughs> it's just a parody of like it's any It's still other not movie. safe. I mean, mind you, I, I heard that the moment it came out of your mouth, but still, apparently it's not safe yet. <laughs> have you heard of how you? <laughs> so they have Sojourn, uh, Otto, how yeah, And there was Otto from The Simpsons. She slides like an apex and she jumps. And then she has a little ball that slows dick in your mouth. put this dick in your mouth, Parker. You just Wait, I didn't hear that. Oh, no. Wow. Yeah. Oh, my goodness. I didn't hear that. Seriously? I was talking. I didn't even hear you say how Whatever. So, George. Parker just said, who's Otto? Otto put this dick in your mouth. I was like, why are you talking about Otto from the fucking Simpsons, bro? Like, what the fuck is that? Ah, uh-huh. yeah. Anyways, um, <laughs> got him. <laughs> Wait, so which one's Sojourn? Um, she's the Canadian cyborg. I actually yes. thought Sojourn was some sort of got him because I, I read your tweets like I'm so excited for Sojourn and Overwatch too. It's like, oh, he's getting a bunch of people in the comments. So I went to the comments and everybody's just excited for this Sojourn character. I was like, damn. Is going to get me? <laughs> I'm afraid to ask now. <laughs> I do hope that they release more than just one on release. Whether it'd be, that's for cool. The it'd be or... cool if they add the Omnic-type like characters into the game like for the PvP. Like, you can play that assassin character or the, you know. Yeah. Ooh, you mean cool. like his actual heroes? Yeah. Oh, yeah. I didn't think about that. They're pretty... I, I mean, yeah, they have Sombra pretty unique abilities. Able... I just want Sombra to be able to hack them, and then you can take control of them and like make them slowly move towards their uh, like their friends to kill them. Like I think that would be That's the cool best mission. type of hacking. Just thought of a cool Instead of taking away their the abilities, game. you grab their whole character and force them to watch as they murder their mercy. Guys, if I told you that I have no pants on right now, would you believe me? No. That's when you woke out of the room earlier. I know you're wearing pants. Okay, well, that, yeah. I mean, right before I went on video, I actually was about to turn on my video, but then I realized I had no pants on. Frogger, as somebody who doesn't use face cam... How often are you only in your underwear, if not naked? Never. I have other people in this house. Oh. <laughs> I have other people in my house, and I walk around naked all the time. I, oh, Much to their dismay, I, I don't know. by the way. Everyone's, asked everyone's me to stop like... countless times. <laughs> <laughs> but it's my house, too. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. I can't, I can't do it. I just I can't Look ever, at them. like, fight me. Have you ever have you ever tried to get away with it? Maybe one day accidentally walk from your bathroom to your room and then be like, "Oh, oops, I accidentally forgot my towel." You know, common yeah, mistake. Yeah, like, oh, like, oh, I accidentally put all of this oil on my body. Oh, I'm accidentally just strutting around. <laughs> I, I was walking from the bathroom to my after a shower to my my room, and uh, I left my towel in my room, and I was like, "Oh, okay." So. I dried up as much as I can, like wiggling it off in the the bathtub, and then I walked with my dirty <laughs> clothes over my penis to be, you know, fine. And then uh, Ruben walks in. I look at him, and he's like, "Good day, <laughs> good day." <laughs> <laughs> Continued walking to my room, bare ass. <laughs> oh my god! <laughs> now you guys tend like good. British when you see each other. Good day. <laughs> <laughs> We were just in an uncomfortable position, so he's like... <laughs> you default to good day. That's just how manners work. Yeah, no, I'm just... entirely honest. Just, uh, I shower naked. That's it. That's you it. what? Shower naked, that's it. Shower As naked. if that's, that's not a, a normal gross. thing. I would be more shocked if you said, yeah, I shower with just my pants on. <laughs> yeah, I wish Speedos in the A never shower. nude. Are you making fun of wearing Speedos, Frogger? Do you know who you're talking what, to? You was... I was yeah, the captain of the you... swim team my senior year yeah. of college. Oh, you knew that? It was D3. It was D3. Yeah, it doesn't I, matter. D3 I did works sw- just as hard. <laughs> I did swimming too. Yeah, they just don't get as far. I did when I was far. 14. <laughs> they just don't get as fast. <laughs> Wait, did you say you did swimming when you were 14? Yeah. How was and it? And then I had remember? to quit. Well, yeah, because it was too he hard. He was too good. No. No, because I, I got a job at McDonald's, and then my mom's like, okay, it's either McDonald's or swimming. And it's like... <laughs> Do you want to make money wait, or do you want wait, me to just wait, go wait, swimming? Wait, 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 Your mom was like, no, <laughs> it's swimming, an extracurricular activity that is good for you, or a job that is also good for you. You have to pick one. And then, and then uh, Frogger goes to his board, and it's like, my biggest life's dreams. It's being a pro swimmer 
and working at McDonald's, and he's Burn. crying over, <laughs> crying <laughs> over his toy Ronald McDonald. It's like, what do I do? <laughs> it's like it's two Ronald. choices: an activity, and at the same time, it's like, what do I want? Minimum wage for doing really hard work when someone like who's slightly older than me is getting paid an extra like ten bucks to do the exact same. <laughs> Bro, I was on nine bucks now. I was messed AED. I don't know what that is for you guys, but. That's so oh. much more than what I got fucking minimum yeah. wage. Yeah, but you have to remember, Listen. they're making didgeridoo dollars. That's worth oh. basically oh, nothing. Oh, gotcha, okay, gotcha, gotcha, gotcha. Okay, so that's six sixty five for you guys. Oh, yeah. that's way less. Sorry. That's, uh... Yeah. No, it was it was atrocious. I managed to buy a one thousand dollar PC with that money though. That's ten weeks of like working nonstop. Terrible. Yeah, you I could never have save any money from swimming. I could never <laughs> save I, I, I had true, a job right? for so long. Uh, I feel like I feel like I'm like going into some like crushed dream of yours. You're like, yeah, you me? Like no, 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 dude. I never <laughs> wanted to be a professional swimmer. You know, going into anything past college. No, I, it's okay. <laughs> Why you just I said that though? I was yeah. relieved. Dude, I, I was relieved when <laughs> swimming was over. <laughs> you shave your legs for swimming? Uh, only for championship events. I shaved everything. Yeah, I was bare, butt naked. I mean, well, shaven. Excuse me. Yeah. And in the pool as well. That's how you got that extra like second off. You just no, dude. No, that's, no you're not supposed to do that because then you have you have a what do you call it? Drag, you have a drag on your, of of your shlong. Yeah, yeah, the rudder. <laughs> that's why I cut off my penis. Wait, Frogger, can I? Ew, Frogger, can I learn more <laughs> about your swimming background? What did you do? I mean, what did it, you swim? What were your times if you remember them? I, I swam in water. The f- a Sorry. solid place to start. <laughs> how much time did you spend? In so the disrespectful. Yeah, yeah. I don't know. What was? How much time did you spend from one end of the pool and back? Was it a fifty meter Olympic size pool? I think it was like the smaller pools. Like I said, I like I went there. Meter. It was like a yeah, it's a it was kiddie probably pool. really small. Yeah, a little kitty pool, a little kitty pool for, for like thirteen year old me. You know. Um. Anyways, are meters uh, not like miles? What's going on? Five meters is a gigantic pool. What? No, no, it's not. Five, well, meters, no, five is like... meters is not big. Twenty-five meters. Louis, okay, so we normally have Master twenty-five Chief yards. Master Chief is two meters tall. Right? Oh, well, Master Chief Damn. is very tall. Wait, that's so, so awesome. Yeah. Thank you, Tubold. Yeah, now I you can. You. Now, whenever you hear <laughs> meters, you just have to picture <laughs> Master Chief lined Chief up and on and top of him. each other. Yeah, yeah, half a chief. Oh, that's <laughs> that's the like, most American have... unit of measurement I could possibly convert. Australian and imper- uh, in metric systems into half a chief or a full chief. <laughs> that sounds Dude, legit too. Say. You could say a half a chief and people will be like, that sounds legit. Okay. Half a Have chief. you guys watched the Halo series yet? No. 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 <laughs> Master Chief doesn't so swim much. in that, so it's irrelevant. <laughs> yeah, I mean, your time. It's going to get bush. better. It's it going to get better. So Trust me, much, it's going to be so dude. good. Look, okay, I can't they're built. Not watch they're it. Saving, I love Halo. I they're can't saving not their watch budget it. for the final but episode there, fight. There hasn't been a fight yet. Like, it, yo, they start with a fight, and it's awesome. And then it's just, it's not man versus covenant dude it's man versus himself man it's versus his inner demons himself yes. it's the worst <laughs> he dude it's like he has his helmet off the whole series i'm sorry for he has a helmet off for his whole series and it's like whenever he puts his helmet on you're like sitting i was like all right dude this is yo f- yo business bro it's about to be business time he's putting on the helmet and then and then he drives five meters and then fucking uh, takes the helmet off. He spe- Sometimes yeah, I they, they have, I have scenes with the him in the helmet, guy. in the helmet, and then they show like a little camera from inside the helmet of his facial expressions. I'm like, please, it's like Jarvis. I hands. need you to connect with him as a character. It's too hard to portray right. that behind a mask. Bro, you're watching BoJack Horseman, bloody Halo edition or some shit. Dude's BoJack just Horseman to is a himself. fantastic series. It is, but this guy's exactly only... so there so is Halo apparently. Yes, yeah, so I'm watching the Pride out. and the Prejudice Halo right now. <laughs> that just goes over people's houses. Probably the shit. worst thing I've ever heard in my life. That sounds awful. <laughs> I have to put on my blind. It's the worst, dude. It's dark outside and it's light in here, which means I just don't understand dark. why they would go that route because there's nothing that there's like no form of media that's ever portrayed Chief as this introspective dude, character. He just I likes Cortana and he kills Covenant. That's his whole thing. There's no, Dude. there's no big revelation that the chief does. He just says, "An order's understood," and then he just goes out and kills like four thousand people. There's only people. sometimes when he like 
defects from what the UNSC wants him to do because he's like, this is for the best. Like, I need to do this to beat the Covenant. You just don't understand. And, like, no, there's no... There's not even Covenant, dude! I've seen the Covenant once! I've you seen an Elite Again, Soldier once! Too high budget. The animations right, for fair. Elite Soldiers, it's coming in the final episode. You, it's all gonna be worth it, Louis. No, they and then, blew their load on the first fucking episode with fucking brains exactly, to, everywhere. Exactly, and, to grab your attention, and then you have to, like, you have to stay for the build-up of the middle, and then the end... You watched it. Brain splatter you again. Yes, but I know how shows work. I've watched a, I've watched a few shows in my I've day. I've seen Breaking Bad before. Okay. <laughs> I have seen Breaking okay. Bad. It's a great it's a great Listen. show. Frog is just like, run. yeah, I didn't understand. I thought that was just normal. Oh, we see creatures like that. Like all video game movies are like most of them are dog shit. They mainly miss. You know, the Sonic movie, it's peak. It's peak fiction. It's literally like you know so good. Breaking Bad's level of movies. It really you know? is. Uh, I, I hope you're not joking here. No, I am serious. I watched okay. I watched the first one. I was like, this is great, man. I'm so the happy second Sonic one's is flossing. The second one yeah, is I need insane. Yeah, I need to watch the second one. I, I need to go to a funeral. You see, but it. you're making fun of it, and that's what I don't like. No, I'm not making He's fun not. of it. He's telling the truth. No, he just, he no, just I... talked about flossing. Yeah, no, but that was great. Louis, but this I was is like, accent. This is, this is, this is, are you being, are you being, throwing you off? This, this is, this is like, he does it the first time in the first one. He just does it after he like, he murders a robot or something like that. Like, that's great. You know, he's doing like what people were doing for none, you know, that's great. And then it's like later on when he gets his, sorry, spoiler words for number one. He gets a room and then he gets on the bed and he starts flossing. Why the fuck you is see, he flossing? You see, you're making fun of it. You, I'm I not making it. fun of it. This you is criticism. Are. I'm just, no, that's I'm because they need to cater to children and flossing is in still. Okay, but like, you know, I don't think it look, you know, when I put my cat on the bed, the cat doesn't stand up and starts flossing, you know what I mean? Like, you know, just like, <laughs> are you comparing Sonic the Hedgehog to a normal cat? <laughs> yeah, the cat talks and meows. So it's I don't think you like understand, Sonic. Frogger. We went to a showing of uh, Sonic the Hedgehog 2, about 13 of us, all grown men. And by the end of the movie, we were all clapping, crying and screaming at the top of our lungs. It was a beautiful... Yeah, like, in excitement. A screening, like, what? Are you famous or something? Sorry. They were louder... <laughs> they were louder <laughs> than a five-year-old that was two rows in front of us. Who we was just as excited. We were children. Yeah. No, that's, that's good. <laughs> I don't think they were scared. That was irrelevant <laughs> to the movie, though. They were just that's... being very terrifying human beings to children. They're just like, your parents don't love you. And they're like, I just want to see Knuckles. <laughs> No, I've actually been super pumped for it, and every time I've told any of my friends about it, they just kind of think I'm a fucking loser. Be like, it's, it's so good. That? It's so How worth it. you say that? It's such I a good it's great, movie. Yeah. yeah, no, I've like legitimately, like, I go up to like, uh, yeah, I'm like, has anyone just want to, <laughs> sorry, um, has anyone want to watch the Sonic movie? And they're like, what the fuck? Like, they think I'm... Uh, I, I mean, I understand where they're coming from. They probably just saw Morbius, and they were like, why do we even need to see... The like, Morbius movies? sweep! <laughs> they just saw Morbius, and they're like, I can't see anything else. Exactly, I've, that's what I was peaked. saying. That they just saw Morbius, they were like, oh, I don't need to go to the theaters anymore. I don't need to watch any other movies. It's just that movie now. I Morbius just love the fact that legend. Jim Carrey... Jim Carrey finished Sonic 2, and he was like, that's good enough. <laughs> it's like that's that's probably the peak i'm probably never getting past this so i'll retire now <laughs> yeah. tell me he's not like the best choice for eggman but like weirdly so like eggman no. is supposed to be like some fat dude but they're just like no jim carrey would do this correctly and then they put a giant mustache on him and you're like that's eggman that's him that's skinny eggman <laughs> well, his so legs good, are dude. his legs are very skinny and long Wait, yeah, but that's not honestly, why yeah. you recognize Eggman. You recognize him because of the giant mustache and the fact that he is basically a ball. True, true. An egg. Yeah. yeah. Now, honestly, I was expecting them to just get some absolute bizarre cast. Uh, Willem Dafoe's Dr. Eggman. I mean, great. <laughs> it's a really Hello. dark rendition Sonic. of Sonic. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, they just have like a really dark universe where it's just the multiverse type thing. And it's just like Sonic's just basically the Batman and it's just Willem Dafoe's basically the Joker. And it's just like, I can't do a voice. That's a really neat trick of yours, Sonic. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> You're really I fast, just, Batman. When I, have, <laughs> when I have Tails is Tails right here, I stole the fucking, <laughs> fucking decapitated Tails. <laughs> I mean, they had that really like brooding environmental Sonic that was unironically very good back when I was a kid. The animated one where they were a bunch of freedom fighters. And, uh, like, Eggman had this super deep, sultry voice that was super intimidating. Oh, yeah, Do you guys not yeah, remember yeah. that? 
I it wasn't remember. Sonic Adventure. It was something else, but like it, it was super cool. Like they had a rabbit girl whose like arm was lost, and they replaced it with like a robotic one, and she just like picked boulders up the ground like Doomfist or whatever. And then there was um, a whole bunch of Sonic's like family got turned into robots. They just died like straight up, <laughs> and like that was just a whole that was a whole thing. There was a bunch of people underground that had to fight off these giant robot rats with electric tails that just murdered people. Like, they just cleared out cities, and Robotnik was trying to, like, turn the whole forest into robots. Like, he just wanted to turn into this giant, sprawling metropolis. And Sonic was just like, yeah, we need to stop this. <laughs> <laughs> he had, like, one French dude with him, and then he had a romantic interest with, uh... Head... I don't know what she was, actually. Anteater? No, Anton was the Anteater. I don't know what the fuck they were. I'm gonna be real with you. I just remember it being very dark and edgy, and I was like, this is... This is pretty badass. <laughs> Sonic would get, like, um, these power stones and just, like, like, hurl himself at things, and you're just like, yeah! Dude, yeah. The, like, the whole movie, me and Reggie were just like, oh, Amy confirmed for the next movie. Big the Cat confirmed. <laughs> Sonic Heroes confirmed. <laughs> just, like, <laughs> just kept taking shit. You know what I'm not looking forward to? Rouge Amy. the Bat. Rouge the Bat. You're not looking forward to that? Why not? No, because the things that are going to happen on Twitter... It's already I happened. I'm not looking forward to it. Yeah, but I'm not looking forward to it in movie quality. <laughs> that's that's it's the gonna thing. It's going to respawn. Yeah, it's, oh. it's going to bring my, a whole new I had my influence. first sexual awakening to Rouge the Cat. Oh, my lord. Bat. The Bat. How <laughs> or the bat. the bat. Um, Sorry. I, want, I wanted to say earlier, because... Um, when you get movies and shows, it's such like a... It's never a middle, like, ground. It's either dog shit or it's really good. Like, it's really weird. Like, Arcane was god tier. You know, the Sonic movies are god tier. And then you have fucking... Halo. <laughs> it's good. I don't want to shit on it. Okay, the, uh, the good episodes just haven't been released yet. You need to watch it. So <laughs> okay, fine. Doing, I'll watch it. I'll watch it so we can talk it. about it next week. <laughs> Are we supposed to talk about our jobs or whatever this week, or should we save that for the next? Yeah, week? just save it. Oh, actually, well, yeah, Frogger, I guess Frogger what kind of kind jobs of did you have? He was a McDonald's up worker. McDonald's. He gave yeah, up yeah, swimming McDonald's. so he could work at McDonald's. Is there yeah. anything else that you had before YouTube? Um, McDonald's. I worked there for nine years. What the nine. fuck? Nine years. Did you work your way to the CEO top? Or something? Yes. No. Can you give us I... a discount or a card? Uh, I got 50% off only on shifts. So I kind of, like, I only did one shift a week, literally to just get 50% off nuggets, you know? Nuggies. No, I didn't get, I, what, you guys think I'm getting a promotion or something? They yes, looked at me, 90. and they honestly thought there was something wrong with me, and they weren't going to give me a promotion because of it. I'm sorry, I hate to be that, like, I'm not what trying to sound What do you look rude. like that they would profile you like this? Like, did no, you, it's me as a person. Do you have, person. like, a divot in your head from, like, the... What's the, wrong with you the, as a person? What's it called? The, uh... I think you're great as a person, Your headset? <laughs> they just look my... at you and be like, well, there's a hunch there. So, I mean, like, they, he can't go past my... the grill. <laughs> they found my YouTube channel, right? And oh. one of the managers that I really do not like, <laughs> I really dislike her, and, you know, she, she really made my life hell. She's one of the first managers that made me cry on shift. Like, you know, you haven't experienced a job if you haven't cried on, like, one of the first few shifts as, like, a child. I don't know. What? Um, yeah, I I cried several times, bro. It was upsetting. I like what dropped the like hell a, did she do to you? I dropped like a nine kilo bloody uh, box of frozen fries in my hand, and I was like, I gotta fucking hold it out. I gotta, I just I just can't. And then I just went to the office. I'm like, I hurt myself. <laughs> <laughs> and they let me go. I'm after that. It was great. Uh, anyways, yeah, she was just really rude and aggressive. Um, yeah, she pretty much, uh, you know. Like it made me terrified of fries. She's probably making two dollars more than you, too. Yeah, you probably you, know, you don't you don't ever notice that, but like bosses don't make much more than you. The like, yeah. you just gotta like throw that in their face. Be like, no, that that bitch. was the funny thing because one of my managers, like most of the managers, right? Because they have like a couple there. Um, it was like because I was on casual pay, which is like I just work whenever they like you know send me and whatever and all that stuff, right? I was getting paid more than them because they're like, well, we have vacation days and holiday benefits and we get sick pay. And I'm like, well, I can just take a day off whenever I want. <laughs> and I was actually getting paid more than them. I mean, I was getting paid an extra like $4 more than them. And I wasn't even like trying to flex that. I just asked them one time. They're like, and I was like, should I say what I'm getting paid? Like, I feel like this is really, I don't know. Am I getting in trouble? Wait, do your, do your but, bosses not cut your check or is it like some sort of corporate thing? The hell's cutting a check. Like they snip it up. 
No, like, do they do they write your te- checks? No, I just get sent money to my bank account. Oh, okay. So it was like a corporate thing. So nobody knows who, who what's getting paid. Why? How did you know what your bosses were getting paid? Did they tell you or something? I just asked them one time. I'm like, yo, it's really slow. Tell me how much money you make. Tell me bank details. <laughs> tell me the wacky numbers <laughs> on the back. <laughs> They're like, oh, shit. Um, hey, man. Okay. But I, w- I wanted to go back to this real quick. Um, but my managers found out uh, that I had a YouTube and all that. One of my managers actually watches my videos. Uh, he Still? told me to give him a shout out. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He's, he told me to give him a shout out in the videos. Um, sure it is. I didn't. But uh, <laughs> I appreciate him because he was like one of the only people that actually understood Overwatch. And whenever he tried to explain it to his girlfriend, she was just like, what are you talking about? Um, but one no, of the managers... Look, she the, can the, blink the, like, three times and then <laughs> rewind. It's the dude talking to the girl at the baseball. <laughs> yeah. Anyways, um, you don't understand. Double shield is cancer. <laughs> All right, sorry. Go ahead. You're right. You're right. Um, yeah, she comes up to me and she's like, "Oh, Jared, so I heard you're a uh, Twitch streamer." And I was like, she's coming over like the wicked witch or something like that. The way she's talking, like and the mean, like, okay. the mean boss. Yeah, and I was just like, uh, yeah, that's me. That's what I do that sometimes. Well, I just don't know fall how into. Fucking... And I'm just like, don't know what you fucking found out, but uh, you know. And it's just like, I have a friend, and he's on Facebook gaming, and I'm like, he makes a lot of money, and I'm like, okay, was this like meant to like put me down or something? It's like, right out. <laughs> I mean, he's on Facebook gaming, good for him. Like, <laughs> so I'm, not, I'm not trying to be rude, but you know, I'm just like. She's like, yeah, just wanted to let you know because, you know, if you ever want to collaborate with him, I'm like, no, don't know who this fucking dude is. I still don't. I don't know who he is. It's the one dude on Twitter. It's Disguised Toast. You need to find out how many followers he has. It was Disguised Toast, dude. They're like, no, she said something so like. He was on Facebook. How many people were on Facebook gaming? That, were you like, bigger than him, Frogger? they finally got out of that contract, they were like, I'm free. Mm-hmm. <laughs> and just start running. <laughs> well, okay, the thing with Facebook gaming is that there's more older people that use that app compared to Twitch. So there's that whole argument that because they're older, some a majority of them have their lives in order or they're more financially stable. So they can give more money to the streamers that they're watching. Because they actually have some money to, to spend rather than... You know, Does some Facebook children gaming even have like people. a donate function? Yeah, I think so. I think wow. they do. Wait, okay, Real so not. the lady came up to you, Frogger, and she just said, Oh, I know somebody. And then, like, told you that she was on Facebook gaming and you had no other questions. Yeah, I just, I, like, I just clocked on my shift. I was so tired. I'm like, why is she talking to me about this? I hate talking about what I do to, like, real-life people. It sounds really... You can call them what they are. Normies. Muggles. Oh, yeah, normies. Yeah. <laughs> Muggles. You know, those Some humans. Some mudblood. <laughs> those goddamn <laughs> humans, they piss me off. No, it's just, like, it's just, like, I'm at work. I don't want to fucking talk about these. You know, I'm here to flip fries and... I mean, not flip fries, flip burgers. Flip and, fries and cook fries. This is why you never got a promotion, Frog. You flip were flipping get fucking fries, fries again. <laughs> just hot oil I, I everywhere. <laughs> Bro. Did you ever dump a bunch of ice into the fridge? <laughs> oh just God. to watch your coworkers burn, you just <laughs> throw ice. <laughs> yeah, <no. laughs> Dude, I, I had what a, a new, new kid was on actually, and I was training him. Like they made me train people without getting like the trainers right. It was kind of messed up. Um, but I remember this like new kid was on, and it's like he's like. Oh, the oil's really hot. I'm like, oh, yeah, you should cool it down, get some water. And he goes to get some fucking water. <laughs> <laughs> and I'm like, do I run with this? I don't know. Like, the storm might actually blow up. I don't know if I should. <laughs> and I was like, no, nah, <laughs> And then, like. You'd be like, if I'm going to get fired for something, I mean, like, how often do you just see a kid with, like, a bucket of ice water just be like, well, the, fr- the, the trainer told me the fryer was just a little too hot. So and this was the work. fastest way to go about <laughs> So yeah, I've been fired from job. every single job I've ever had. What? Um, and I did work as a fry cook for a day. It was at uh, Steak and Shake. And uh, I didn't technically get fired. But what I did was I got everyone's order wrong for the whole day. <laughs> and then I didn't show up the next day. And then <laughs> I, I didn't show reasonable. up ever again. 
How old were you when this happened? I was like 20. Oh my God. <laughs> wow. I still technically work at Steak and Shake. <laughs> Just come in one day in a uniform or that and be like, hey guys. Who the fuck's this guy? Who is this? <laughs> Yeah, oh it's me. God. I it bought the like wrong two. shoes. How many, how many orders was did you get two. wrong in total? All of them. Like how many? <laughs> like a, what's it had to have get? been hundred, maybe. <laughs> I got them all wrong. You have to be going out like, of your way. No, okay. So you, because as the grill cook, I'm also taking care of the prep station <laughs> by accident, the bun station, and the flipping the burgers. So not only was everybody getting burnt burgers, um, <laughs> the, I, the, the specialty items, you have to spread butter on the on the buns, and then you cook the bun a little bit. None of that happened. Um, <laughs> if there was like a specific they didn't want mayo or they didn't want ketchup, no. Everyone got the same burger. <laughs> we're selling one burger today. It's just burger. <laughs> You know, sometimes there might be a mystery on it. Sometimes it might be burnt. Sometimes it and might not be only, And not only did I buy, I, I was doing a terrible job. I was fucking slipping everywhere because I didn't get the non-slip <laughs> shoes. So I would make a move and almost fall every single time. <laughs> and not, and not only that, ever. and not only that, the customers had a direct view into the kitchen. <laughs> so they could see me fucking like... <laughs> you were flipping you were, through the flipping through the order book, then flipping the burger. <laughs> so there's no way they put you on oh that. My God. They did nuts. first day without a trainer, and I was like, That's "Hey, nuts. I really don't know what I'm doing." And he's like, "You'll get it. <laughs> You'll get it." I like to Please. imagine that, that it's somebody who ordered like no ketchup or something, and you would just stare at them in the eye, pouring the ketchup. <laughs> 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 you can scrape it off, sir. <laughs> <laughs> you have silverware you for a reason. And the best you is when I got thing. the drive through uh the drive through <laughs> ones because there I would just not try at all. I'm pretty sure I gave a couple people raw patties by accident. <laughs> like I and then give it back to them. Like it was bad, dude. I was I was I'm not a good worker. <laughs> I oh and I fucking oh, hated Jesus. it. It was so bad. I worked there for <sighs> one day. Jesus Christ. One how, long day. Is <laughs> how long is the shift? I don't remember. I remember. It felt uh, like forever. All right, let's just say it's like five hours. <laughs> no, that honestly, like honestly, that sounds like, like oh my God. you. I feel like you just told me like the the storyboard <laughs> of a SpongeBob episode where SpongeBob has no idea what he's fucking doing. <laughs> Like, cause I, tr- I honestly, I had zero shit. idea what I was doing. I had no idea you're what I was doing. You're describing never... purgatory to me, Louie. That's what you're <laughs> describing. It felt like forever. <laughs> it felt like a long time. I remember I got, I got, uh, I remember, I remember finding out I was doing a bad job because I had eaten had at the place out. a lot. I used to eat at Steak and Shake a lot. Like with my friends, it was kind of like our go-to like place to go like before parties and i remember for my break i cooked myself uh one of my favorite things was the frisco melt there and i I took a bite of it and it didn't taste like the frisco melt that i was used to (laughs) jesus i was like oh no (laughs) yeah never meet your heroes never work at your favorite Oh my goodness! <laughs> oh my god! What was I gonna say? Oh, half of half of the shit that I did is nowhere near as funny as Louis' single day at Steak and Louis, Shake. It's good, yeah, Louis. It's good that you did not continue to work. You could have dropped their whole a whole star review on that place. You could, you could have killed someone. <laughs> oh my god. Or yourself with all the slipping you were doing around. Yeah, there's like no way you would have gone. You're like, oh, I have better nah. stories. I have better, I feel better like... work stories. I've worked at a lot of places. Uh, look, <laughs> that was just my one day. Dude, I, I, 
don't have too many like memories of working at places because I put in the absolute barest possible minimum always, and I was always tired because I didn't know I had narcolepsy <laughs> like while I was working my job. So I was just like, man, I just got drained at school. It sucks working after school. And I was just like basically almost passing out like every five seconds. I never retained any knowledge they tried to give me, and one of I was perpetually the new guy when I was stocking shelves at this grocery store. Oh yeah. Like, people would come in, and they'd be like, hey, where do I find this? And I'm just like, "Uh, I just started working here. I'm so sorry. I have no idea where that is. And they would leave. And then it went on for, like, months that I was working there. And the same person would come up to me like, hey, do you know where this is? like, I'm sorry, man. I just started working here. He's like, I know for a fact you've been here for months. And I'm like, I have retained nothing since I started working here. I am so sorry. I have no fucking idea where any of that is. like, I'm looking for the melons, dude. And I'm just like... Then try produce, dude. (laughs) If you can't find them there, they're gone, dude. (laughs) Got fired. He's like, you're very rude. I'm just like, you're very dumb. I don't know what the fuck you want. (laughs) And I would just leave. I had a cart of things I was supposed to stack in there, and I just walked away. And he's just like, what? And my manager came up to me. He's like, we need to work on your people skills. (laughs) And I'm just like, well, tell the people to stop being dickheads about everything, and maybe we can work something out. Because I'm not doing that again. He comes to me every time, and he damn well knows I don't know. <laughs> He's like, what do you mean you don't know? And I'm just like, I haven't learned where any of this shit is, okay? I spent half my shift with this cart full of stuff, figuring out where the fuck it is. <laughs> And that was just me bagging groceries and stocking shelves. Dude, I was such a bad worker. I did nothing. My dad would have friends because he's a hairdresser, right? He has friends everywhere. Everywhere we go out, he's running into someone. He's like, oh, I know someone that can get you a job. I'm like, all right, sure, dad. If you really want to ruin a friendship, we could go with that. <laughs> and I would, work at his, I would work at their places. And I was just such a shit employee, dude. <laughs> I got a job at Starbucks. I don't think I've ever made a correct cup of coffee in my entire life. Except for one construction worker who would come over for me specifically. Because on the first day he came over, he was just like, hey. Uh, I need a small blonde roast, cut the bullshit. And I'm just like, I know that one. And it's just filling a cup of coffee and handing it to him. He's like, thank you. And they walk away. And that was it. That was the whole interaction. Someone asked me for a macchiato. And I would have like this little book of like ingredients (laughs) and stuff. And I would take that up and I'd be like, what the fuck is a macchiato? (laughs) (laughs) Oh my God, my manager hated my ass so much. Dude, my, my, my buddy used to work at a Starbucks, and he was so good at his job. I was like, holy fuck, dude. He'd go he'd nah. go back home, make us all coffee, be like, man, you are good at this. <laughs> oh, that's so cute. Yeah, not me. Love your Fish, job, tell us and you'll never you work worked. a day in your life. No, I mean, like I said, I, I said this on last week's podcast. I've only had uh, two jobs and one internship growing up. Um, and the reason for that was that the, the summer that I blew up on YouTube, that was actually the summer my mom said – if you don't do anything, if you don't make any money off of YouTube, because I kind of already was, but she was just like, you're not making enough. If I didn't make this this quota, um, then I have to get a real job. And mm. But then I ended up, you know, uh, doing YouTube. YouTube not a real job, huh? You're saying That's, it's not well, a real she job? said it wasn't enough mo- I wasn't making enough money off of it, which was very it's a true. Real job? It, was, it was chump change at the time. But uh, then that, that summer that I blew up, she was like, okay, fine, you can do it. And then, yeah, I, did, I didn't uh, ever have to work after that. But I think I already told the story how I was a swim instructor for these little children, and I told them to run when they weren't supposed to run on the so pool many deck. Kids died that summer. No, no. <laughs> it was just, that happened once, and the moment the what? moment that they started, one dude died. No, one kid no, died. no. I'm talking about them running. Them running. I told them once to run on the pool deck, and immediately as soon as they started running, I was like, Wait. "No, you can't do that. You can't do that." Yeah. And then the other um, intern. No, 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 my bad. The other job that I had was working for an advertisement shooting company. And I guess the one task, it isn't really a funny story. It's just more so me being lazy. But I had this task to upload all of their projects to a different website because they were moving uh, brands and they needed to move like a whole new website and different design and everything. And uh, at some point they told me, yeah, uh, we're not, we don't have all of our video projects. So just upload the pictures for now. And then I was just like, wait, so you're telling me on the showcasing of this new brand new website, this reboot that you guys are doing, you want me to upload a picture when it's listed as a video? They're like, yeah, just do it. So first of all, that saved me a lot of time because uploading a picture is a lot faster than a video. But then at the end of the website, it turns out that I had a lot of the wrong files. So if you looked at this video showcasing advertisement website, 
all you would see were these videos where you'd click play and then nothing would happen. It would just be the photo. And that was, I guess that was the laziest thing I'd done. Because I feel like if I really was passionate about it, I should have looked into it and been like, this is like 90% pictures. But uh, that was the biggest screw up that I had in working. I don't really have many funny screwing up work stories like that. God. I once yeah, served a woman. Like I once served a woman uh, coffee with uh, not what's it called the uh, decaf, dairy free or whatever. Oh no! Because uh, she had like a lot of lactose. That's what it was. I, I didn't serve her lactose free or whatever. She's like, "Are you sure this is lactose free?" And I'm like, "I am eighty percent positive," because <laughs> obviously I wasn't paying attention at all to the drink I was making. And she came back the next day and she's like, "I almost farted a hole through my fucking chair the other day. You did not give me." <laughs> <laughs> lactose free I'm like I am yeah, so sorry, sorry. <laughs> I want to be completely honest with you I thought I did <laughs> there would there would be customers that came through the drive through right and you know it's hard to tell the difference between Diet Coke normal Coke all that stuff right no. and then you know it is you mean the taste that, or pouring it it's pretty hard like to pouring it the taste is Oh, yeah, yeah. The, look I mean, it. like, yeah. the, I, I don't drink the drinks before I give them out. Like, I'm working at McDonald's. No, what I'm you saying is, you don't like, sample even, it with the same straw. Even no, to taste it, it's kind of hard to tell. <laughs> what do you mean? Yeah, no, it's not. No, dude, no, if you I don't have all of them in front of you, you're not telling me which one is which, bro. I can tell we're you when I have fucking okay, we're gonna do that. Coke over we're gonna write that down. We're writing that down. Yeah. How much money you want to put down? Seventeen thousand dollars. Seventeen thousand dollars. I wouldn't be able to pay <laughs> that. Into the wallet. <laughs> One second. Yeah, let me check. Okay, Hold on. Test. Checking his bank account. Too bold. Oh, it's a reminder. I use reminders so much. That's the only thing. That's the only way that I get by. That's going to be reminders. a stream too bold. Sure, dude. The whole three seconds of you being proved wrong. Give me another. It's not going to be three seconds. I'm going to at least milk it for an hour. We can How? look forward to that. <laughs> Are you going to milk the coke from the machine? Are you going to show me the whole process of it? Listen, um, you don't know how to put on a fucking show. I do. because my shows are to the point. I take out all the fluff. <laughs> That's stupid. <laughs> okay, listen, listen. So I'm like working the drive-thru, and this lady's ordered a Diet Coke, you know, meal, all this stuff. I don't know if it's all for her or whatever. She gets to the window, and it's like the worst stuff because she, she says to me, is this Diet Coke? And I'm like, yep. And it's like, and it's like well... I have diabetes, so if I die, it's your fault. And it's like, <laughs> what the... And I'm like, give me back the drink. I'm like, I'll fucking just make a new one. And it's like, the fuck? And I was like, make Jesus. Sure. And she's like, I'll make sure you get in trouble for it. I was like 15 at the time. It's like, oh, How? You're going to be dead. <laughs> <It's> like, <laughs> bro, I've recorded me. this conversation the moment you gave me the drink. <laughs> oh, my God. She's like, set up a code that basically, like, you know, leaks the footage online everywhere. Yeah. Me. And I was just like I was like just give me back the drink but like people have done that all the time like they would tell me it's like they would just threaten me basically and they'd be like well if this isn't what I ordered I'll be back and it's like are you gonna, are you gonna kill me or like I'm like I'm like you you're like kill me. you got like two kids in the back and you're like obviously like a 40 year old dad you know what I mean it's like you know I don't but, think uh, you're going away I don't think you'll do it I'll call that bet he just comes in with like a machete. You're like, damn, I called that wrong. If you get this order wrong, I will never come back here again. You will lose my patronage. It's like we're fucking McDonald's, sir. It's like, we're a my pay trillion change. dollar company. I don't get commission from you guys. Like, you know what I mean? It's like, it's like you know, my managers would ask me. It's like, hey, can you sell these like uh, these uh, things? Uh, like, can you upsell them, right? And I'd be like, do I get anything extra? And they're like, yeah, if you sell fifty of them. We'll give you a free meal and it's like so i sell like a hundred dollars worth of this and i get 10 nuggets for free yeah now nah, fuck off <laughs> i have to like guilt trip customers like hey man we're, we were doing a charity thing you know you want to help kids who are dying yeah you piece of shit <laughs> yeah yeah i know you just want to eat mcdonald's you want to help kids yeah fuck you <laughs> this person comes yeah. in for like a, an ice cream cone yeah I don't know if this makes me a bad person or not, but whenever I go to the grocery (laughs) store and there's like a little screen that pops up before, it's just like, hey, would you like to round up the amount of money you had here (laughs) and send it to charity? I immediately, without even thinking, click no. I don't even look at the charity. No, I I don't pay attention to the kid that's on the screen. I ignore it entirely. I'm like, let me pay for the $20 of food I'm trying to get. And then I say, fuck them kids. 
<laughs> and I just stare directly Flip at the cashier. Off the screen. And they're just <laughs> you just you just like the workers that are just looking at you going, Fuck you at the screen for some reason, you're just incredibly angry. It's like, what's wrong with this guy? It's like, do you need help or anything? It's like, oh no, I'm just paying, don't worry about it. Oh. <laughs> yeah, no, I've gotten that a couple of times, like, hey, you've got two cents left over. If you don't help kids, <laughs> like the machine comes alive and just <laughs> Earlier today, actually, I was leaving Walmart, and there was, like, the Girl Scout cookie stand or whatever, and I walked over to it, and the woman's like, oh, we're selling Girl Scout cookies. I'm like, yeah, obviously. And I picked up one of the boxes, and I'm just like, yeesh, and I put it back down, and I just walked away. I didn't even look at the price. I just looked at the box, and then I walked <laughs> away, and I don't even know why I did that. I was just like, this will be exactly what needs to happen right now. And then I, t- I was ruined like, a day, bro. I don't know why I did that. <laughs> that they had no reason to happen, and I, I really did cried it. about it to her mother. It's fucked yeah. up. <laughs> <Yeesh>. <laughs> no explanation. Just a Ugh. box of Thin Mints. And then I walked away. Oh, you say like these type of cookies. I'll see you later. Just walks off. Too many calories, really. Yeah. That's what it is. Sorry. The girl's got to really try to get you with that. I'm not happening. I'm going to die. All right. Um, on that note, I think that is a good point to call it. For this Thank you, Frogger, for episode. coming on. Frogger, mm-hmm. any closing Thanks. thoughts? Um, yeah. Uh, you know. Shout yourself out. Your socials. Guys, if you enjoyed this podcast, don't make to subscribe don't forget to subscribe, or I'll come to your house and I'll c- <laughs> I can't do it. <laughs> no, I'm trying to do the charity. Frogger thing. has a, spe- like, make a it- special set of skills. Yeah. It's a lot easier to do in person from what I'm hearing when you have eye contact yeah. involved. Yeah. Um, thanks for watching, everyone. Uh, you know, drink alcohol when you're legal, able to. We can do it here in through Australia. Through the mouth. I don't know. Um, yes, through the mouth. That was terrible. I don't ever want to... I hate the fact that I heard that. Um, Dude, you should try it. But yeah. Uh, I'm Frogger. You can watch me if you want. I don't really care. If you don't... don't <laughs> <laughs> um, you know, I make YouTube videos. Uh, you know, if you watch me, cool. If you don't watch me, fuck yourself. <laughs> uh, if you see me in an alley sometime uh, do your best thing to run all that you know shouldn't be too hard to figure out yeah but right. I will catch anyway. you there are walls there and I have rollerblades at all times you, <laughs> yeah, I will take you <laughs> alright yeah again thank you so much Frogger for uh, being on this week's episode we will see you listeners and viewers next week on episode 16 of the Fish Tank Podcast thank you guys for joining us we'll talk to you guys bye. later bye bye see you around Frogger Bye. Bye, everyone. Thanks for listening. Bye. Goodbye. Bye. I'm going to do your, your profile picture. Fuck you. Oh, sorry. <laughs>